Hi everyone, it's Jeannie again here in the International Indigenous Fashion Week Spotlight on a Changemaker. Our guest for today is the Artist of the Year winner in the recently concluded International Indigenous Arts and Fashion Awards. There you go. So he's an amazing painter. He does acrylic painting, spray painting, and his artworks have been showcased across the country from Vancouver all the way to Toronto. So he is an amazing talent, and aside from that, he's also a community builder. I'm so excited to interview today Christopher Lightning, also known as day one. So stay tuned for the full interview coming up next. Here with us is Christopher Lightning. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? <laughs> good. I'm good. So a lot of people call you day one. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that's correct. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So maybe to our viewers, you know, from across the world who doesn't know, oh, why day one? Why is Christopher Lightning's nickname day one? Maybe let's let's talk about that. Um, it actually started with, uh, one of my younger cousins who was, uh, he was a DJ and, uh, he, I don't know, he, he needed some encouragement, I guess. So just long story short, um, a lot of people, when he started, he wasn't very good at it, but wouldn't allow him to grow. But, uh, mm -hmm. I was, I was always there encouraging him. So he came, he's the very first one to start calling me that shouts out to, uh, Jake Buffalo. Thank you, cousin. Um, I just started writing it on canvases and mm -hmm. it just turned into uh, my very first art show. Uh, I was billed as day one because I kept writing it on every canvas I, I did. So um, it, it stuck. <laughs> wow. Now I, now I, I don't know. I, I write it on every canvas. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you go to the Regina First Nations University in the library, you'll see one of my paintings and I wrote day one the bottom wow that's amazing so you spoke about regina i am currently in saskatoon so um where are you based out of chris sorry i'll call you day one where are you based out of um i'm currently in calgary but yes. uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm really trying to get into the university of regina the first nations university and expand okay. my expand my uh, fan base into Saskatchewan. So yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so you are from Alberta then, right? Yes, I'm from uh, Muskogee, Alberta, the Samson Cree Nation in uh, Treaty 6 territory. Amazing, yeah. Okay, well, hopefully you make it to Saskatchewan. We'll be here to support you. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Yes, amazing. So we talked about, you know, your, your cousin giving you this nickname. Um, and you also talked about your painting in the Regina University. So when did you start this, this creative passion of yours? Because I see in the painting behind you, that's an amazing painting. Oh, thank you. Yeah, when, when did you start doing this? I was always a creative person, like growing up, like all through school, I was always drawing, I was always creating. And uh, I gave it a rest for a really long time. Um, I was a carpenter and uh, I hurt my leg really badly. And like, I, I basically had to leave the trades behind. So mm -hmm. in, while that was happening, I, I, you know, was kind of feeling down on everything. So I picked up a paintbrush again and, and I started painting and I, I've just been painting since. So 2011 to now. Wow. Yeah, so it's almost a decade now that you've been doing this creative passion of yours. Yeah, it's it's oh, it's been a long road. Uh, no, oh, nobody's yeah. going to tell you. Nobody's going to tell you how hard it is, or mm -hmm. how many times you're going to want to quit. And yeah, I don't know why. Lots of times I didn't know why I kept going, but I just kept mm -hmm. going. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of you know keeping on going, so what keeps you going? What what keeps you inspired? What motivates you? my daughters and uh well uh i'm uh expecting a child right now so that's oh, congratulations that's yeah thank you thank you um uh, yeah expecting a child and my daughters um two of them are very creative mm -hmm. like all of them all, like all of them inspire me but like when when they create art that's just like that's everything i tried to do you know just mm -hmm. uh 
art art helps me a lot and um, yeah. it helps me connect with my daughters it helps me be who I am so, well, yeah. I don't know my, I've actually been a better person since my art journey started so I'm wow I'm happy about that that's yeah. like the connection with my daughters mm -hmm. um waiting for my baby to be born that's yeah I can't wait Yes. And you know what? That's true because art, there's a lot of things right now, which is called art therapy, which really mm -hmm. helps in healing. So it's, it's a great point that you mentioned that. And speaking of connection, you know, we have a lot of youth out there, right? Who wants to start painting. And, you know, if someone comes up to you and says, Hey, I want to be like you day one. So what do you usually tell them? I've been asked this before and I totally yeah. flubbed on it. So I'm gonna, I'm, I took time to write this down. Yes. So, um, if you'll excuse I, I Sure, yeah. Down. Oh, yeah. Um, I what I would say to a young artist is that it's okay to fail. Like, uh, you, you'll always get out of it what you'll put into it. And sometimes things won't work out. But like, what makes you get to that next step is going to be what you do when you fail. You either walk away or you stand back up and you just keep trying. And all you got to do is just keep trying and work on your own style and, and work on your craft and get better every day. And no matter who feels it or who doesn't, just keep going. And failure, mm -hmm. it's a big part of success. Don't be afraid to fail. Yeah. Like I've failed so many times getting here. It's true that a lot of successful people, you know, they've failed so much in their life. But I think it's the support from our community that really helps us keep on going. And for you as well, you're not just a painter, you're not just an artist, you're also a community builder. And um, you mentioned earlier today, you've shown me one of these beautiful paintings that you did. Maybe let's talk about that. It's actually, yeah, it does pretty much coincide with the, with the, uh, that's beautiful. So what's the story behind this day one? Okay, um, we, we all know who uh, Dogface is. Um, the day he posted that video, uh, Kristen showed me the video first, and, and uh, we both just loved it. And uh, when you're an artist, with like you want to do pop art pieces, you have to do them like right away before someone else beats you to them. So yeah. the day he posted this video, I, I started this painting, and... Um, it was done that night at like three in the morning. And um, so, so um, you know, I love the painting. I call it Steady Vibin'. Um, it's a picture of uh, the famous Nathan Apodaca. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, I, I've just been wondering what to do with it. And uh, part of what I do with my art is I, I, I help my community. So, uh, like, it's a portrait of somebody, and it's you know I, I you know I I don't feel right about just taking that somebody's image and just mm -hmm. um, profiting off it. Yeah. So the idea I have when that happens with my art mm -hmm. is if if I use somebody's image, I, I really like to um, give back to the the cause I'm 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 painting or mm -hmm. the person and what sometimes people do is they ask me to donate to charities a friend from nation skate youth approached me and uh asked if i had any uh, art to to donate and uh i have this piece and like i said i i could just sell it but i i really i really do believe that when when you take from something you should give something back mm -hmm. so I, that's what i'm doing here is uh I, I suck at skateboarding and that's not a secret. But, uh, <laughs> I, know, I, know yeah. of, I don't skateboard I of, either. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people who do. And, um, and this charity in particular is giving back to the youth. So there's, they're going to be handing out skateboards or, or skateboarding programs or really what art did for me is what skateboarding does for some of these kids. And, and I really love, giving giving that to them and if if i can in some small way i don't even need them to give me any any props for it i just that's that's what my art is for
Wow, that's amazing day one. And where is this fundraiser? Is it in Calgary as well? Okay, uh, the art fundraiser yes. is hosted by the Slice of Life Gallery in Vancouver, BC. And it'll be held from December 10th to the 21st. And I'm honestly really honored to be part of the show because uh, yeah. I'm a big fan of every artist on that lineup. And I'm just, I was pretty humbled that they would reach out. My piece will be available. Uh, I'm, I believe you'll be able to go online and, and bid. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure yet, but I'll, I'll post more details about that on my page. Um, Art Life, A-R-T-L-I-F-E on Facebook. Okay, day one. So okay. you have been supported by the community, you know, from Vancouver, Toronto, Saskatchewan. So it's basically the whole country. And I know how important it is to be supported by people from our community. So is there anyone at all in particular that you'd like to thank, you know, because you you came a long way since 2011. Yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of people I'd like to thank. Um, first and foremost, uh, my daughters. Um, you're the reason that I do this. You're the reason that I keep going. And uh, Kristen Elliott, um, this this year has just been behind me, beside me, um, a big part of a big part of my journey to Saskatchewan, where I learned about these awards and. A lot of other things. Um, the mother of my child, I love you. Um, thank you. Uh, next, I got, uh, now I got a list. I had to thank those people first. <laughs> yeah, we will thank them all. <laughs> uh, the John Humphrey Center for Peace and Human Rights, the whole team, uh, Megan, Renee, thank you so much for everything you did for me. Um, inter well, International Indigenous Fashion Week, thank you guys, thank you. Um, Indigene Arts in Toronto, thank you guys. Thank you for holding it down. Thank you for making me not have to be there to sell art. I love that. Uh, my family, uh, Uncle Pat, my mom, my dad, uh, my brothers, my sisters, uh, my brother Patrick, uh, like uh, all of you, thank you. Thank you for all of your support. And every time I wanted to quit, you wouldn't let me. Um, let's see, where are we? People who buy my art. Every last one of you, thank you so much. I, I, you, you wouldn't keep painting if you didn't think anybody liked it. Thank you all. Uh, Stress Street, um, Joey Styles, the whole family, mm, everybody in Stress Street. Uh, it's been a big help having that network and I really appreciate it, one love, thank you. Uh, infamous Native Clothing Company, uh, for, I've always got a fresh hoodie on. Thank you, thank you BJ and, and the whole family over there. Love you guys. Uh, Rich and Jessica Tiro at Rumble House, uh, who just my favorite people in the world. Thank you. Thank you both. I love you. I'm actually going to live chat them after at Rumble House right after we're done here. Um, when I started in Red Deer, there's a bunch of people. Uh, the first three were Luke Whittle, Cindy Back, and Desiree Marshall. And I'd like to give a special shout out to Levi Courtley at uh, Dropaganda Productions, who's actually given me some work as well. Um, all of my art galleries, Samson Cree Nation Native Art Gallery, Dalkin Visual Arts, Wild West Gallery, Siding 14 Gallery, Hanson Ross House, um, A Plus, what are they called? I'm not with them anymore, but they, they actually did carry me for a while. A Plus Art Gallery in Red Deer. And photographers um, that, that have actually allowed me to, to paint their images. Uh, Aussie Michelin, thank you Aussie. Blair Russell, uh, Amber Bracken, and my good friend, best friend, Fox Static. And um, if I forgot anybody, I'm sorry. And I, I love all of you, just every, every last one of you and everyone that I mentioned, you, you played a part in why I'm here and why I never gave up. And to my daughters and my unborn child and Kristen, um, we did it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I couldn't do anything without, without you. Thank you. I love you. Have a great day. 
Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Day One. I mean, we, we've learned a lot in this um, very short while that we were able to chat with you. Um, for those of our viewers who wanted to see more of your work, where can they find it aside from Facebook? Or is everything on Facebook? It's mostly on Facebook. Uh, you can go on indigenearts.com. Um, it's uh, based out of Toronto. Um, where else? You can also go on hansonrosshouse.com in Fort Capel. They, they have a selection of my artwork. And you can search me on Facebook and buy it directly from me. Uh, okay. Christopher Lightning or Art Life page. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you very much again for your time today, day one. And there you have it, guys. So again, our winner of this year's International Indigenous Arts and Fashion Awards Artist of the Year. Thank you very much, day one, for your time today. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, thank thank you. you so much.